Hello, I'm Steven, and I will be showing you how to assemble an M4 battery sprayer. So let's take a look inside the box. First, you have the um, operations sheet, which you might need to use depending on if this video helps. And if you go inside, you will find the battery, which you will use to charge. This is the lance, which you can use to extend the length of your sprayer can be it can it's either you can it starts out at 16 inches but you can adjust it to 32 and this is the spray which is hooked to the actual battery sprayer what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to screw in the lance to the sprayer and then you can set your length and then to spray you just hold down this handle and if you want to keep it for a long time without holding on you just push in this orange switch and it stays when you're, when you're done you just push down the handle and push out the orange thing orange switch This is the actual battery sprayer itself. If you look over here, you can see the plug, which when you plug in your charger, you plug it in. And then you have two switches. One of them is the basic on and off switch. When you turn it on, it brings it to a voltage of of 60 PSI and then this other switch you can use it to adjust from 0 to 60 PSI so but when, what you want to do is if you have this switch on this switch does nothing so if you if this switch is off you can use this switch to go 0 to 60 PSI to adjust and to make sure you don't um, waste or ruin your battery whenever you're done look here and make sure there is no light because as you can see when it's on there's a light so you want to make sure the lights off so you don't waste your battery and if you want to screw this there's a bag of all the nozzles or spray nozzles or sprayers and this is the basic filter if you look inside there's another filter yeah. okay so now we'll be showing you how to use the charger so you're gonna wanna first plug it in and when you plug in the, there will be a light that will be green Green means that it's plugged in, and it's but it's not actually plugged in to the charge or to the battery sprayer. And then you're gonna want to take this, make sure it's aligned. When you plug it in, the light will be red. That means it's charging. When it's fully charged, the light will turn back to green. That means it's charged. And yeah. Then when you're done, you can put this little cap back on. Okay, so now I will be showing you how to assemble the nozzles, which are inside the blue tank. Here's the bag of nozzles, but if you have any, if there's any, if there's any parts that you are missing, you're going to want to make sure you look inside the blue tank. So, the nozzles, they are all basic screw-ons, except this one brass one, which if I can get out. There we go. This 
what you're going to want to do is this um, nozzle, once screwing it on, it's a little bit harder because you have to hit the top precisely to then screw in. So now I will be showing you how to assemble the extension cord, which is 15 feet long, which you'll, you should find inside the blue tank under the black filter. Just what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, oh, you're going to want to unscrew this, which I will put off to the side. Then you're going to want to take the yellow adapter, yeah. screw this in, until it's tight, and you're going to want to grab the extension cord, it doesn't matter which side, but you're going to want to screw that in to the other end, the yellow adapter. until it's tight and then you can grab the sprayer or yeah, the handle you can screw that in to the other end Once again, until it's tight, and then you can untie this, and you'll have a extension. Okay, so now we'll be showing you how to assemble the spray pistol accessory. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take this black adapter, and screw it in to the bottom until it's tight. And then you're going to want to take the end of the cord. If you have the wand on, you're going to want to unscrew it. Or if you have the extension accessory, you can either put this on the end of it or take that off. You want to screw it in. And then to use it, all you do is pull on this handle. If you pull on it lightly, it'll be a mist but the harder you pull, it'll become more of a jet. Okay, so now I will be showing you how to assemble the card accessory, if you have purchased it. First, you're going to want to, you're going to, want to take off the bungee, which kind of holds it together. You know, pull this up, hook this latch on. You're going to want to make sure it's on. Then this folds down. This opens up. I'm going to want to open up both of these. And, there. and then you can take your sprayer, which if it is full filled, it can weigh about 50 pounds, so this might be helpful. I'm going to put this on. Like probably just like wrap this around. Keep going. Then you're going to want to take the bungee, if you want to, and you're going to want to hook it on, because this could probably slide off, and then move it around. And then to off, take off the bungee, take off the sprayer, you can unfold these flaps over, doesn't matter which one goes first, you're going to want to unhack this, fold this down, or this down, this fold up, then you take the bungee, and hook it back on. So, 
and put it back to this position for our easy storage. Okay, so in case you need to change out the battery or the pump to get into the to get to where the battery and pump are, you're gonna need to unscrew these six screws, three on this side, three on the other side. Come around this. Okay, so you open this up. Leave this over. You can see this is the pump, this is the battery. If you need to replace the pump, you're gonna want to unscrew unscrew the connection from the pump to the tank and from the pump to your nozzle. And then there's three screws. Just unscrew them take it out, replace it if you want to, and then there's the battery, replace the battery, T take, unhook the cords, take out the battery, replace the battery, put the cords back in, and yeah.